What's the surprise? Exciting! Oh, I like surprises. Right, let's go. It's up. Katie, you just say, you just say what we're doing, and then Jim say thank you. And then we'll all just like join in this shit. Yeah. Oh, you start, Katie. If you remember something that someone else hasn't said, say it. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. It was a little bit early this morning, so we couldn't do an intro, but we we went out go we went out chasing a few craze pretty early this morning. A few lights, a few spears. We might have got a couple, we have to stay around and see what we got. Yeah, might have caught good. a barrel, but we don't spoil it here, do we? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, it was good. And just wanna say thanks to all our new subscribers. Got a lot of new subscribers late in the last few weeks, so thanks everyone that's been subbing and watch all the vids. So yeah. Morning. Morning. It's quarter to five. Let's go. Ready to go? Yeah, nearly ready. <laughs> Just picked the boys up. Josh and Noah, Jim, Cody, Mitch over the back there. Got the spears, got the torches. Got the little shit box car. Got the little green car. We're heading out. If we go get some craze before the sun comes up. Get them, boys. A bit corrugated on the way in here. It's a bit rough, but taking it in. Jesus. So Noah was just putting his shoe on, and a freaking lizard climbed out of it, and Josh caught it. <laughs> Jesus, boys. Anyway, got all the spears out. Look at got it. all the torches. Holy, look how long the tail is. Yeah. That Got the, Jimmy's got the setting up the chest mount and GoPro. Hey, watch him run. Oh, watch him run. he's a bit dopey, eh? There you go. He won't be going in any shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get some craze, boys. Come, Mitch. Come, Mitch. We'll be all. Mitch, we'll go. We'll be all day waiting for these floggers. Very low at a point. Point three tide this morning at six thirty. So that's why we come out. Get out here on these real low tides. You pick up a few crates. Squid Make like it. that kind of bait. Calamari dog. Oh, Where? Find your tortoise. I mean, find the spotlight. I just got a photo. Oh, what the heck? I haven't seen an octopus here before. Grab it the bad end. Yeah. Don't spear it, leave it. Nah, it's not a spear. Yeah, I got I like the GoPros. That's right. Just there underneath that rock. Look how camo that is. I know, it's pretty sick. Right Just there, it that looks like there. a rock there. Don't spear it. It's right in now, look. Ready? It's amazing at night, there's just so much more life. Okay. Little grab. <laughs> you just see so much more coming out at night. Yeah, what is that? What is Big fish. Big fish. Okay. 
Daniel Rodder. Octopus. Sneaking through the weeds. Seaweed. Looks daytime, Daniel. Smash boss. It's can actually eat these, you gotta pickle them and stuff, but we don't we love octopus, they're pretty smart animals actually. Very good at camouflage normally. Another massive big octopus. Look at him. Pretty cool. A bit pickled. Sounds a bit big, eh? Little crew here. <laughs> not, not, not finding many, many um, crayfish, but it's awesome. It's boring what's in these shallow flats. Yeah, there's a cray. There's a big cray, big cray. Got one. Got one too. Two crays! Two crays! Hey. Two! Oh, yeah, got one. You got, I got one here? Yeah. Now what? Now you grab them. I got mine. You have to reach down and grab by the header, right? Okay, you put my lighter. Just grab them, make sure you don't get spiked too much. Uh, grab them with you, though. Oh, this dog's massive. Yes, Josh! Let's go! Yes! Wow. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Good job, boy! Woohoo! Ah, I'm action! <laughs> Show him up. Yeah. Turn, your, turn all your lights off. Let's yeah, go! Right. Good job, Josh! Oh, Josh is a busted Oh, up. Josh's one's got eggs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Josh, <laughs> say, oh, Finally bounced some crays. Yeah, I got it. Finally got a couple, oh, boys. Yeah, yeah, we both. He's like, oh, there's a cray there. And I'm like, I see one too. Bang. <laughs> I one thought he's gone for the one same one, one, so there. I wanted to beat him. But, uh, <laughs> a bit of activity now. One was a bit down in the dumps. Now there's a few smiles on faces. Except for me, I've got no torch, I've got a pole of camera. A bit of live action here. Hold them up, boys. Don't show the camera in there. Awesome. Double craze. Ow! Double craze. Don't drop them. Alright, where are we in there? What are we doing? Um, we should have bought a bag. Yeah, We're not real organised. The sun's just starting to come up. We've probably got about another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, like an old one. So he doesn't kick this stuff. Live action. Woo! Well that one, when he's crazy, you spot him like, that one was sitting against the rock and I could just see in the weed, I could see both of us like antenna or whatever they're called, feelers just poking up out of the seaweed. And I looked down and I saw them like, you see like the red horns on them, the front of them? And you just spot down, I saw that one and I speared mine and then Josh, just looked around, there's another big one, that one there, just sitting just up above it. Yeah. So we speared that one too, we got both of them. So yeah, that was good success rate so far. Same rock. Same rock. Same like, rock. They're like sitting right next to each other. Great hunters, we got about 10, we got about 10 minutes before they like. Just about breaking daylight. Hasn't been a con total bust. We got two crays, which is better than nothing. Yeah, we've covered a fair bit of country. 
Cody still back there. That's his light. All the crews, most of the rest of the crew are here. This spot in the early 80s, on a higher tide, there was a bloke out here diving. And um, a crocodile got him, actually. So a bit of a sad story, but I don't know the full the full story, but yeah, he got taken by a croc out off these rocks diving for craze, but he wasn't low tide like this. He was out in deeper water and stuff, but just got to always be on the ball. But still, even even now, we just sort of keep a bit of an eye out about with the torches and stuff, because crocs always glow very red, so at night, they're not that hard to spot, as long as they are on the surface, of course. Truly live in paradise, look at this. Boys walking through there, they've speed two craze for the morning. So amazing to be able to explore country like this. Dribble getting spoken here. Yeah, well, no, I saw mine and I thought that's what you're looking at, and then I looked over it's and it's probably another one. Like, yours is there. I'm like, <laughs> some pretty happy campers. Yep, sure are. Two feet just sat his foot over and see on the It looks like he's trying to talk. There is it all the way out there. Ow. Walk the dog. Amazing, we're so isolated here, we still managed to find rubbish laying on the beach. It's crazy. People need to maybe pick up their rubbish. Boys are just picking up a bit of rubbish through these woolies bags. It's supposed to be bloody save rubbish. These bags never break down now. I'll bring this beer. We always like to pick up rubbish if we see it. It's amazing. We're so isolated here, but sometimes there's so much rubbish we got no hope in now. They're picking it all up. The way we look at it, if everyone picks up a bit of rubbish, eventually, you know, if they don't leave rubbish and take rubbish, eventually you got to get this lesson every time you do a trip. This is where we come at daylight, while well, it was dark this morning. We got them craze way up that way. Walk through all this. Amazing bit of Australia this year. It's just crazy. Uh, spectacular it is. Well, we made it back to the car. <laughs> Where's the other cray? There's one there, the little, oh, that's a big, that's the bigger one, yeah. It's well worth it. Goes to show you, do the miles, you get the smiles. That's an hour, we walked an hour, 58 minutes. Oh. Wouldn't like to be buying them in a shop. No. Just went for a walk, got here an hour ago, we started walking. We went down, walked all the way along these rocks. Way out there, it's nearly the end of them rocks over there. Didn't find any craze for a long time. We're nearly giving up, but ended up finding both of these two craze on one rock. One I spotted rock. this one. I could see the like feelers coming up out of the seaweed. I was thought I wasn't sure what it was, and I called out to Josh to come over, spot, shine the spotlight on them, and yeah, two big craze sitting there. So frothing with that, two yeah, good ones. Right. Might head home now and cook them up. Big feed. Hey, no. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this dog. Chuck it all. Big dog, mate. So we've got a photo for the Instagram dogs. Yeah. Just got back, got these two crays here. We've got Josh's one. You can see where Josh hit his, he's hit it down here in the meat, down in the tail there, but it's all right, that one, Josh, get, you can see the three prongs just there. And then my one here, I hit it in the top of the head just there. 
be better. So Josh is better an amateur, but it's alright. We accept that he's an amateur. So I wanted him to be alive. No, Josh is an amateur, but it's all good. Right, so best take the tails out of them. So I'm not sure how most people do it, but how I do it is you just get the knife in the top there, and you just cut around the side. You sort of take all the skin off of the shell, and then you can just twist it. The tail just pop out, and all the meat's in there in the tail. And I'll show you. How to take the sh shit shoot out in a minute, but Josh is big one. Ooh. Poke him in between the legs, Ed. Kill him as humanely as possible. Alright, he's gone. Get the tail off. Around there. He's not alive by the way. No, he's not alive. It's just nerves. So got the tail there, that's the two tails. And what you can do to get the poo shoot out is he's still alive. snap that off about there. And you get like the um feeler. You see the um bum hole. And you <laughs> push that up in there. You pull it. There comes your shit shoot, just comes out. Because all the spikes on this um feeler. And you get all that, that shit shoot out there. Don't have to have any shit shoot in your cray. What you want, you do it. Shit shoot. Yeah. That's the other one. The scientific name. Yeah, that's the scientific one. Poo shoot, shit shoot, whatever you want to call it. Man. <laughs> Got them two tails there. Unfortunately, the power's out, so we're not going to be able to cook them yet, but we'll chuck them on a plate and chuck them in the fridge and cook them up when the power comes back on. That's Josh. Josh, no, that's you know, let's be honest. No one's the dumb one. I've never snapped two rods, who said that? <laughs> so what's, two rods. what's the plan? I don't know. Well, the there's no out. power, power's out, so we can't cook the cray. Yeah. We'll have to cook them on a fire or something. Do you have a gas cooker? We could use or Merton fire. Merton? Yeah, he's got a fireplace. Has he got a gas cooker? The Navy's got a fireplace. Can't, go and ask him. Merton! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew. He's, a, he's away. I saw him before. He might be asleep. No, he's awake, I saw him. He's doing the reports. <laughs> Could be. He's in the skill teacher's fireplace. Merton, can we use your fireplace? Fireplace? Yeah, you can use my fireplace. There's probably a crayfish tax in that, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll see. You might get a bit of crayfish if we use it. I reckon. I reckon we can do that. Go for it. Thanks, mate. Right, Righto, good old neighbour. And, and he's a boy's teacher, too, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey look out. And then Flash. And then even better, that. Oh, he's got more surprises. <laughs> this is the, the oh, look and out. And it's stand. So you put that over the coals and then you put Sit it in, it in there. Sit it in there. You want it. Oh, yeah, look out. We get one of them for one That's a boat. bit flash. We had bloody skewers there we are going to hold them over the fly with, but I think we might have a better idea. Frank Franklin's come in handy. <laughs> oh, did you get new matches for that? Safety thing. No, we haven't got any new ones yet, but we'll replace them soon. Just chuck them crazy in that little great thing. That's really fancy, that is. Cook them up. No power, so cook them on the fire. Guru Joe reckons he knows every trick in the book. Even knows how to put his shirt on. Hey. Tap put his shirt on his shirt. Okay, this morning. What are you dressing yourself for? Longer than you. Looks like I don't need them in my shirt. Right, right way around to feel good about myself. <laughs> That's how the cool people do it. Yeah. Need some light little sticks, boys. Get out there. Just hanging shit at me. Get some wood. <laughs> well, wood, you flogged. It was thin ice, or was that your stuff? It was wood, yeah. Yeah, I had thin ones. Heaps of wood. There you go. Need little woods to get it going. The woods. Little woods. Just get more little woods, Mitch. I'll do this. Yeah, mate. I'm the fire boy. Woods. Got the fire going. Josh is getting smoked out. <laughs> Josh, you're going to lose your hair, brother. Your hair was nearly in the fire then. <laughs> 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 Ray? Don't do it at me. <laughs> you're going to lose your fringe, Josh. <laughs> Serious, get out of here. It's not Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, Josh nearly lost his hair. <laughs> got this crazy. Got the fire. Put, 
got the fire going forward, burnt it down, put a heap of uh, logs in there and burnt it down. We've got some hot coals in there. Now we're going to get these crazy. We're going to split them down, down here and we're going to open them up and put them in here. And I'll lay them out and cook them on that full of heat in there and they should be good. I'm gonna get them with a knife and split them down the back here. I usually do this with scissors, it's a lot easier with scissors, but easy with a knife too. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. We'll have to edit out a bit of that. It took us 20 minutes now. Nah, it wasn't Come here. Oh yeah, put Jack in the middle of it. Have a go, Jim. That looks solid. Oh yeah, just put on that. <laughs> 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 food handling certificates. Cut that out. That's hygienic. Jim's got his white card, doesn't that mean he can cook this thing? There we go. It's the second one. Except it was started first. Still kicking. Was it, was it actually tense? Yeah, it was tense enough. No, I need to put it in the second one. Yeah, what you put in the coal and she'll kick Our first go using this thing, we might have to buy one. We borrowed the neighbours. Chuck in the bottom one. Bottom? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Smoked. That's that's bloody. That's gonna right be. Oh, look, that one's on the fire, mate. Went through. Smoke cherubin. Smoke cherubin. I guess coal's better than brick. Show that. All right. It's crazy. It's starting to get a bit cooked. Too much. Turn it over. No. Sorry, we're not over here on mine anyway. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Crispy. Come on, mate. That works. <laughs> Look out! That looks so good. I reckon these crates are pretty much cooked. Just gonna grab them out now. Take them over and take them out of here. Oh, look at that! Right, what a feed! Perfect. Yeah, Getting these crates out. Look at that! What a feed! It's so good. This one's a bit more crispy. Yeah. Don't waste that bit on there. Straight in. Oh, look out. That looks so good. What a feed. Feed of kings. Oh, look out. You can hear the, you can hear the good taste of it. Hear the good taste? You can hear the taste, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That is pretty good. Oh, look at that. Well, uh, finish eating this up and we have a bit of taste anyway. So um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.